Hey, it's Adam, and we're going to do a Vegas effect tutorial, and this is a quick one and a fun one. So, I, you may have noticed in a couple of videos I've been using some waveforms to represent audio, and how do you get these waveforms to exist? Like, how do you get this media to work with? Well, I'll show you. See, I generated them in Vegas Effect, and you can see right here, this is the video itself. We're gonna grab this audio here, and we're going to edit this in Vegas Effect. Now, something you'll notice is you can't import audio straight into Vegas Effect, not the normal way. So, uh, what we're actually gonna do is render out the a video of the audio, and we're going to import that video into Vegas Effects. So once you have Vegas Effects open, what you're really gonna wanna do is just drag and drop your sample of your audio that you made inside of the video. So remember it's a video we've rendered out and it's got an audio track. This makes it a ton easier to go ahead and add the effect. So if you watch it, you can hear the audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate audio waveforms for this. So just type in waveform and then when you start typing in you'll see in the generate folder there's audio waveforms just click this and drag it to your clip when it does that it'll create an extra drop down for the effect called audio waveform and here you can see it's already working so we can watch it and it'll show you how how it's working so far to work with whatever your audio is, voice or anything. You can now customize this. It can be moved across the screen if you want to move it. It can be made bigger or smaller with this text box here. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to move it back. You can also, down here, you can adjust all of this stuff by sliding this. See that controls the height of the waveforms. You can control that by sliding your mouse back and forth to the left and right. Same with the thickness of it. That's how you get those cool, thin ones. You can also change the render model to lines or points or a bar graph. Lots of cool things you can do with it there. And then uh, you can flip or mirror it as well as far as your waveforms, how you want them to look. That's the mirrored version. That reminds me a lot of uh, uh, old Windows Movie movie uh, Player effect. So if you select these, you can actually keyframe and change these over time. Like you can make the height get bigger over time. So you can do that. Anything with a radial button can be changed over time with these keyframes. More on that in my basics video if you're struggling there using keyframes. When you're done, select your in and out points like you normally would. And for this one, you'll need to re-render it. It won't just appear back in Vegas. And so to do that, you're just going to want to go up here and you're going to want to compress it as uh, do either a 4K one or you're going to want to do an uncompressed AVI. Either way is going to work for me. Uh, you can do an uncompressed AVI. When you bring it back into Vegas, here's the neat thing you can do. For mine, you can if you created a green screen background for your video or whatever, you can get it rid of it. I just chroma keyed out the black uh, for the video, and now I just have the waveforms themselves, and I can position them and move them where I want them anywhere in the timeline just by typical movements and stuff. So if you see there's a chroma key on there where I remove the black, you can do that with green screen, you can do that uh, however you want, just put these wherever you want with animations and you're good to go. So now that is how to create audio waveforms and use them in Vegas Pro for your projects. I hope this helped you out. Let me know if you have any Vegas effects tutorials you particularly want. I will add them to the list. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. I'll see you next time.